Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Do for Beginners. Today we are going to configure the outgoing email server. In this session we will configure for the Gmail. In the next session we will configure for that Outlook. That creation of and the configuration of outgoing email server it's sometimes quite crucial if we doesn't know what exactly steps are there. And this is mostly mandatory for each and every projects implementation as we are sharing that sales order invoices to our clients. So without wasting the time, let's jump to the database and let's check how we can configure the outgoing email server step by step. So let me jump to this database. I'm on the database. Make sure we are in developer mode. So let me activate the developer mode first. For that, let me go to the settings. Scroll down and I have activated the developer mode. Now for that, I have to create the outgoing email server. Here we can create and here the creation is there. Here you can see that we have these four options are there. That username, SSL, this one and Gmail auth authentication. We can create the outgoing email server using four options. Username, we will check in this session with the username as well as for Gmail auth authentications. Both has its pros and cons. It depends on requirement what you want. But this is Gmail auth is more secure compared to username. This will be more clear when we configure for username and for the next one. So case number one, I am going to configure for that username. So I am going to add that name which is the username outgoing email. Okay, I am just going to add that I have created one test database. At the rate email.com this email id i am going to use i am configured with this okay now in case one i am going to use for that username i am using this connection inscriptions and here we are going to use for gmail so what i am going to do smtp.gmail.com and this i am using for okay now this is regarding the passwords this is not the password of this email id here we have to find that password from the app how we can do that? For that, we have to follow the steps. So let's follow the steps and let's fetch that passwords. So I'm going to that. Yeah, I'm going to click on that. Step number one, manage Google accounts. Step number one. Step number two, click on that security. And step number three, for that, your two-step authentication must be on. It is on for that. So let me just make it off for now. So it will be more clear for you. So let me just make it off. it as a turn off so it will be more clear for you guys now i have make it the turn off now as i have mentioned the step number three is we have to make it turn on so what i'm going to do click on that turn on step verifications it's turning on okay we have to verification for that phone number it will be there now it is already verified as i have verified previously now here the thing is that we have to fetch that app password. So what we have to do, we have to search for that app password. Currently it is already there. I'm going to go to that. We have to give that Udo paste one. We can give any any name, any thing. And here you can see that that system generates the passwords. So just we have to copy this and we have to make it paste over here. And let me save it. Okay, and just now everything is configured. Username is there and password we have fetched from that app password. Now let's check that is it configured properly or not. So just I'm going to click on that test connections. And that's good. Connection test successful. Meaning is that that username with password is configured for this outgoing email server. Now this is quite easy. But this is some pro and cons that this is regarding with the password. So this is not secure as Gmail auth authentication is there. And how we can configure those Gmail auth authentication. This is quite complex. So for that, just let me delete it. Okay. Now I'm going to do that. So here, before that, 
Udo already provided this documentation. So what we have to do? Just we have to follow this link. I'm just going to click on that Google API console. Step number one is the Google API console. You have to sign in that. Now step number two is that we have to create the projects for that. I have already created many projects, but let me create one more new projects over here. I am creating project. Let's let's create that project. Okay. Uh, let me give that name, which is today is the. Let's let's give any regular name. Like PPS based. Okay. And there is no need to select that. No organization will be work. I'm just going to create it. Step number two is the project is created. So let's jump to that project. This is configured. Now let me jump to that step number three. For that, I have to click on that API in services. I am on the project of PPS and test. Okay. Now for this project, okay, step number three is the auth concept script. We have to click on that. Okay, now we have to click on that get started. We have to give the name of that app. I'm just giving a random name. Our name is data4009 at the rate gmail.com. I'm just going to click on that. Step number next is we have to click on that external. Next, here we have to again give that data t4009 at the rate is that I just am going to click on the next and agree and the continue and create it takes time wait for a while okay now here next step is that we have to click on that create auth client if just I'm going to click on that or we will create the credentials for that auth authentications for that we have to click on that web applications this is works and this is very important authorize redirects URIs we have to click on that add URI now let's check what our database is our database is this one I'm just going to copy now what we have to add over here if you will check that Uru has mentioned that after that we have to copy and paste over that where is that yeah Okay, now thing is that, and I'm just going to click on that create. Okay, this auth client is created. Let's jump to that. This is my client ID and client script. This provides. Now where we have to make it paste. So for that, let's jump to our database settings. In the settings, we have that Gmail. We have to it must be activated and just we have to copy that this client id must be copied perfectly like that okay and we have to paste that secret id let's copy and close it and just make it save okay now now thing is clear now let's create the outgoing email server. Outgoing email server. I'm creating for, I'm just giving this name so it will be more clear. Control C, Control V. This is my data T4009 at the rate gmail. Okay, that's fine. Now here we are using this thing is that now we have to click on that connect we have to make it that data t4009 at the rate gmail.com okay and just we have to connect the gmail account let's ask for that passwords it's please the l so for that what we have to do we have to again jump to our database audience in the audience we can see the published app it must be published okay and confirm now that works now let's go to again now connect to gmail account this is the things advance 
continue. Here it works. Here you can see that Gmail token is valid. So let's test the connections. Here yeah, connection test successfully. So these are the two ways you can configure your outgoing email server using the username as well as using the Gmail auth authentication. This is more secure. You can do it from your side. You can test it. So you can follow these steps and let me know if still you are facing any queries. Thank you. Have a nice day.